vTiger forecast extension was designed to allow system admins and users to view the opportunities and potential forecasts in a very high level. First, let's take a look at the charts. The chart is based on the date that you would select and the dates are configurable in the configuration area and we'll get to that in a second. Next, we have a list of users on the left. We can view the forecast for the entire organization, or we can go team by team, say John's team, or we can go to Martin's team. And as you click on each team or the member, it will then narrow down the base chart and the results down below. Let's get back to the organization view. We can see the new and existing business progress and down below we can click to expand all which will then expand all the users and the teams down below and group them by the forecast category and the opportunity type. I can then expi expand and see my pipeline, best case and committed scenarios and down below existing and new business those are just opportunity types configured in this area. Um, next, let's take a look at forecast dates. We can limit the dates here as well. That will limit the information on this in this area. So just the quarter two, and that gives us the information for quarter two. Again, we can expand and see the information. If we want to expand more, we can see the entire steam progress as well. Next, let's go to the settings where the forecast is configured. So first we have the hierarchy where we can simply add additional users to existing teams or we can just create a new team by just adding a new user right here. Next we have the amount field, date field that drive the amounts and expected close date. We can then select the period either monthly, quarterly or yearly and number of periods you would like to see. And then your physical year starts in year and month. Next, we have ability to categorize our sales stages. So say, for example, prospecting qualification needs analysis. Stages will be summarized into the pipeline category. Best case will be decision makers, proposal, or quote. And if we go back to our forecast, that's what you see category as pipeline, best case, and committed. So it basically summarizes you the forecast by sales stages. Going back to the settings, we covered sales stages. You can add new ones as needed and create additional categories. Then going to the opportunity type, you can create and map opportunity types on this forecast report. Say, for example, if you want to distinguish between existing new business, extension sales, support migrations, etc., you'll be able to create different types of opportunities and then categorize them as well. Lastly, we have targets where you can specify targets for your team, either for the entire organization, by the team, or by individual member. And you can do that for the time and date periods that you set up. You can go to the previous period or the next one and then add the goals that you require. And as you add the goal at the organization level, it'll then distribute the individual goals to each member and the team. If you do the same again, it'll do the same as well. And that it for the forecast report.